Hello guys, my name is Hernán Ramírez. I am a president of the Association for the Desarrollo Sustainable San Jose Rural of Costa Rica. Our organization works in the environment education, protect resources of water, organic, nature, agriculture, and rural community tourism. Today, uh, partner, my son, Mauro Ramirez. Uh, he speaks very well English, and uh, Mauro will be the presentation. Thank you. Uh, so hi, everybody. Uh, as my father said, I will be presenting today. Uh, my name is Mauro Ramirez Asofeifa. I'm from uh, Palmichal from the community where this uh, rural uh, hotel or lodge, it is based. Um, I kind of uh, grew up with all these initiatives. So since I, since I, since I remember I'm involved with uh, these activities, um, different development. So can you go next, please? So let's start with Costa Rica. So next slide, la siguiente, por favor. So Costa Rica is well known uh, for its natural resources. It is a really peaceful country, as you know, or maybe not. Uh, we don't have a uh, military. So this is very important because uh, this has helped us um, to have a better uh, education in the late uh, uh, 1940s. Um, also, we hold uh, 6% of the whole uh, biodiversity of the world. So this is very important. So now, uh, I will talk a little bit more about the rural community tourism. So uh, this is a group uh, of activities that we can do, uh, usually in, a rural, in rural communities around Costa Rica who do not uh, have a lot of access to different resources, but we have a lot of access to natural resources uh, and we conserve uh, the whole uh, culture as the people of in Costa Rica were living more than 100 years ago. So, I mean, we are like, we are of course a little bit different, but still we hold a, a lot of this culture. So if you can go to the next slide, please. So the history of the organization, uh, very briefly, as my father said, Asociación para el Desarrollo Sostenible de San Jose Rural, or Association for the Sustainable Development of Rural San Jose. Um, so this association uh, began in, in 1991, first uh, with an ecological uh, week of like fair of education, environmental education here in our town in Palmichal. So the main idea of this week was to provide different resources to the community uh, members to be more interested uh, in environmental issues and protection of, of the environment. And then after this uh, association, then we needed to create a, something called um, Posada Nacientes Palmichal, which is like the marketing name for the lodge that later I will talk more about it. So it is very uh, important because it's like, like the brand in order to bring resources to the community, uh, especially to pursue the mission and vision of uh, the association. So maybe if we go to the next slide. So social and cultural characteristics. So as I, I was talking a little bit, uh, that touristic, uh, it is like a, a touristic activity. So people come and they like, adopt to this uh, rural area. So you really, we, we really get to know, or you really get to know a sense of what is uh, to live in this rural community. So in Costa Rica, there is a big vari a variety of these communities and Palmichal is one of them. So each community shows a little bit of different in their you know, uh, roots, um, what you can do, uh, also like the environment, that landscape, uh, but something specific that also you can see around Costa Rica is like the folklore dance, which is a typical dance that comes from uh, Guanacaste in the Northwest uh, uh, region of Costa Rica. Uh, then also when you come and you have these different experiences in the community, then this, this will offer like a personalized uh, 
attention to you also according, accordingly with the you need. Um, then also this um, is a way to uh, rescue us, as I was talking at the beginning, the culture and values of uh, Costa Rican's uh, identity, because as you might not, um, you, as, as you might know, uh, around the world, we have been losing a little bit of our traditions and culture because of globalization. But uh, that's what we try to do with that uh, rural community tourism. It's like to bring an experience uh, where uh, you can still feel as our, as my grandparents, for example, they, they used to, they used to live. So yeah, I will talk now a little bit about uh, in the next slide, what we have been, or the association have been promoting. So the association was one, uh, a pioneer in the rural tourism promotion law. So uh, this law was um, created in 2009, as you can see in, in the slide, uh, the Oscar, Oscar Arias, he was a president, uh, two times president of Costa Rica. Um, he, he's also a Nobel, uh, a Nobel Prize. Um, and he came to the lodge to, uh, to sign this, this new law. Um, the, main, the, the main idea of this law is to contribute to, uh, to rural tourism uh, initiatives and help them to promote and give incentives for them to, de to further develop uh, that tourism in different regions around Costa Rica. Um, it was a very successful law and we had, as I said, the privilege to host it uh, in 2009. Um, maybe the next slide, please. Now, uh, this is uh, some pictures of the lodge. Uh, as you can see, we are surrounded about around nature, and uh, also the river comes uh, very close from the lodge. So um, during the night, you can um, while while you sleep, you can like have the experience of uh, hearing the river, and also hanging around uh, and walking. In, in the trails that also the lodge uh, provides. Uh, now we are going to watch a video and then later I will talk a little bit more about the experiences uh, in this video.
So as you guys uh, could see, uh, that video uh, shows a little bit um, different experiences that some uh, tourist uh, locals and also internationals they can explore and learn in our town, Palmichal. So uh, now this slide uh, shows a little bit more about uh, how to make tortillas. So for example, in the, in the left uh, picture, uh, as you can see, there are people trying to make tortillas. This is a typical uh, dish in Costa Rica. So when I, when, when I always go uh, to my grandma's house, uh, she always offers me tortillas. We, uh, they are made uh, out of corn. Um, they are uh, delicious and we eat them for breakfast, lunch, dinner, like all the time. So yeah, also uh, in, the, in the right side, uh, what uh, these tourists are holding is coffee. Uh, uh, also, as you can see in the video, there is a, a coffee tour that also you can, uh, you, you can explore. So this is also a, a nice experience maybe in the next slide uh, this slide also shows a little bit of uh, bird watching around the area so as we are located in the reserve uh, Cerro de Escazú in the in like in rural San Jose so we, we are part of a uh, of this reserve which is uh, around seven thousand plus a hectares. So it is it is really, really big. So we protect uh, in this area a part, a small part of this uh, region. But because of this protection, there is a lot of uh, bird watching. Um, uh, there is also, that's another experiences, uh, or a different experience that uh, you can have when you come here Maybe in the next slide. Uh, the association also have, have done some work with a uh, woman. So in this, um, uh, they work uh, collaboratively with other women, local women from Palmichal, where the, the organization also promotes uh, their craft. Um, uh, now, currently, the organization is working on a greenhouse, uh, like a, a greenhouse with local uh, women and also like men, but especially a woman. So uh, the association works uh, in these in this, in this areas in the next slide. Um, this is like the experience that uh, you can have in this farm. So uh, you can go there, you can see animals, such as, such as uh, sheep, uh, chickens, um, cows. And as you can see in the, in the right hand, in, in the right um, picture, uh, you could uh, see cow. So this is an, an, an on, Awesome experience that uh, also people people love it and they come here. Uh, the in the next slide, uh, the association also promotes uh, the cultural exchange. So there is also a local group uh, of uh, youth that they always come when uh, tourists, uh, uh, locals or internationals come to to, to the lodge. So the main idea, uh, as you can see, is, for example, in the right, in the right uh, picture, is like taking a Latin dance. So there, uh, there is an instructor that can show you how to teach you, show you and teach you how to dance uh, uh, some salsa, cumbia, merengue, bachata, which are like some tropical, some tropical dance. Um, after this, uh, you can you can go almost uh, anywhere and try to make this those steps that you will learn there. Um, in the left uh, picture, as you can see, there are like a big group of uh, teenagers, uh, not only from like, uh, not, they, they are not only from internationals, but also locals. So like the main idea of this is to share a little bit of uh, the culture, Costa Rican culture, um, also like the, or like the internationals, or sometimes even locals, but in different regions in Costa Rica, they, 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 they think, they believe, um, also, we try there to different uh, discussions, uh, environmental discussions, uh, political discussions, or so like a friendly, uh, friendly like talk or chat. So this is a really, a really uh, amazing experience, and I think this is one of the things that uh, that people like the most when they come here, especially students, which is really to get to know the youth uh, of of 
Costa Rica, but youth from a rural area such as Palmichal. So in the next slide, um, I will talk a little bit more about voluntary experiences. So we have uh, had different and many uh, experiences the association with a uh, youth. Uh, so for example, as you can see, there are like planting trees, they are cleaning the area around, you know, around the lodge. Um, so they come from different uh, organizations. Maybe you can go to the next slide. Uh, there are more like more depictions about these this interactions and experiences that the uh, association have had. So for example, Irene, which is a German, um, a German organization, they bring uh, tourists, um, not tourists, sorry, they bring volunteers. Uh, so they stay usually for a year here uh, working in the lodge uh, in different topics they are interested on or they want to pursue uh, in the right, um, in the right uh, picture. There is a group that was at uh, 2016, in, in 2016, um, this, this group visit, uh, visit us and they come through the uh, travel agency uh, Horizontes, which is a Costa Rica, famous Costa Rica travel agency. And they stayed, they were like, I think uh, 15 uh, students and they stayed with host families and they interact with host families. And then they, they wanted to do this uh, project around um, recycling bins. So also like a little bit of recycling bins, uh, culture, uh, no, also cultural activities, but especially right, right now was like, sorry, at that moment was in um, recycling and environmental education. Um, maybe if we can go to the next slide. Uh, the organization uh, at the SARU also works very closely with, uh, as, as I mentioned, this international uh, uh, collaboration. So this, uh, this is a, like, this, these are a, a panel, panel project that uh, organization worked uh, this past summer with the residential college in the arts and humanities of the Michigan State University. So this was a classroom from the uh, Michigan State University based on the community and based in Palmichal about the organization. So about all the things uh, that organization ha has uh, achieved, such as uh, Bandera Azul Ecologica, that is a, a flag that they give for a certain uh, organizations that they work towards the environment that they need to meet certain requirements. Um, they have a compromise also with the environment. So this, this is one of the compromises uh, that the organization has done uh, with the environment. So like now to be, uh, like have clean energies, uh, maybe the next slide. Uh, it shows a little bit about another partnership with the Projects for Peace. This is currently a project that I have worked on during this past summer. So it was a grant uh, to work with uh, kids, uh, elementary school kids. So as you can see in, in the left uh, picture, uh, we went to plant some trees, and then the students made um, their, you know, their sign and they put their name and the name of, you know, of the organization. And this, this was actually a trip that we made uh, the whole way to uh, San Carlos, which is like three hours away from Palmichal. So it was like a lovely time with them. Um, and during, during, during this trip uh, for many, students and kids for many of them was like the first time also going out of family child so this is, these are also possible projects that uh, some some uh, also students can bring to our, to our community and work uh, towards um, partnership with the uh, organization um, and this is very very important because this increases the, the environmental awareness uh, of the people in the community and in the right in, in the right picture there is also where we do the Latin classes, but uh, that day was for like, a, like to give them lunch. So this is like, uh, that's actually a building of the organization in the same place that is next to the lodge. So it's a little bit uh, like, I don't know, like 10, 15 meters from the lodge, a little bit up. And then that's where uh, we, we can do also different activities there. 
So also this interaction was was uh, pretty good, and this project also not only goes towards uh, the kids' education, but also for their parents because they are between like their ages are between six to twelve years, and they they also come always with their parents. So their kids are not only educated but also their parents. So this is something very important about this this project. And the main idea of this project was to is to write right now, like we built we, we built a greenhouse and then to uh, grow uh, native trees of the area for future like reforestation. So sometimes we reforest uh, we do the reforestation but with trees that are not native and this is uh, this is something that is not good for the environment. Uh, maybe we can go to the next slide. Uh, so a little bit talking about like the landscape. So this is a, a little like kind of park that uh, Parque de las Nacientes, so like watershed uh, park. And the main goal of this is like the organization uh, preserves 42 hectares of this land, like the whole preservation out of that 7,000 hectares, but the organization owns these 42 hectares. Um, in, in these 42 hectares, uh, now we are working with the uh, University of Michigan, the private university in Michigan. We are working to develop a a park. The idea is to make a park here for the use of the community members, but also uh, the exposure of the of the nature uh, of the locals too. Uh, um, right now we are working in, on a, a business plan for um, make more sustainable the community, not only environmentally, but also uh, economically. So this is something that we are, right now we are, we are dealing with, um, working on it. Um, we're just collaborating, but the main ones that are doing the main project are, are students from the uh, University of, of Michigan. So, yeah, just maybe we can start to conclude. Um, so in the next slide, uh, that maybe the initiative, the Nacientes Familia, Nacientes Familia, it is it is an initiative that uh, wants to innovate, um, generate a diverse of products. So as I was talking at the beginning a little bit, uh, with all these different initiatives and tourist experiences with a local woman, with bird watching, uh, visiting uh, vis visiting the site of Don Manuel and Doña Mary, having like you know that typical lunch or, or breakfast, milking out the cows. So all, all uh, visiting all these uh, locations owned by by Costa Ricans. That's like what they this organization is also looking for, and um, especially having the participation of the whole community members because that's what makes special these these experiences. Uh, also, this to uh, diversify uh, the income sources of the community. So, people here, in, for example, in Palmichal, they, they, as I said, we have like a coffee tour, but a lot of people they just uh, believe on that product because it's the only thing that uh, Costa Ricans, many Costa Ricans believe in rural areas it can be sold. And they, but through this organization, uh, they, have, they have also learned that uh, through tourism and the protection too of the resources. Um, we can uh, have a more diversified economy. Um, then also the recognition of the uh, local and international efforts for, for further development of the rural community tourism. Uh, it is crucial to increase the, the visitors and the visitation of the area. Uh, in that next, uh, yeah, I think this is, this is what I wanted uh, to talk about. There are some resources and actually perhaps some other resources that I should add after after maybe we can send uh, this presentation to you all. But uh, yeah, if you have uh, later any questions or would like to know about anything else or further, further a possible, possible project that you want to work on, or just like hear more about it, my father or me can, can help you out with anything. Uh, I hope you like this presentation and you have learned about the experiences that uh, many many tourists, local and locals and internationals have had in, in our in our community.
Thank you. Um, have a nice day.